everybody! This week we're going to talk about one of Jesus' parables, one of the stories Jesus told in the Bible to help us learn something. Today we're going to talk about two different builders who both built houses. And one maybe did a lot better than the other. So let's listen to the story and find out what that's about. To help us understand how important it is to listen to God and obey Him, Jesus once told a story about two builders. There was a good builder. He looked for a big rock to build a house on. It was hard work, but he wanted the house to have a strong foundation. The other builder didn't work hard to make his house strong. It was easier to build on sand. He was in a hurry to get finished. A big storm came. It rained and rained. The water got deeper and deeper, and it crashed against the houses. Water rushed past the house, but on sand. All the sand washed away, and the house fell down. The heavy rain and rushing water did not move the house on the rock. The builder knew his house was safe. This was a story that Jesus told us to teach something important. Following Jesus is like having a safe rock to trust. Jesus said, if you hear my words and obey them, it will make you strong. You will be like a house on a rock. You will be safe when trouble comes. But if you hear my words and don't obey them, it's like building your life on sand. It's difficult times. You will be swept away. So this story tells us how we should build our lives around Jesus. When we have a understanding and a faith in Jesus and in God, we have a strong foundation in our lives to build our lives upon. We have somewhere to go when we have problems. We have someone to reach out to. It makes our lives better in infinitely many ways. So when we learn about and grow in Jesus, we're building that foundation. That's why coming to church and coming to Sunday school, talking to your parents about God is really important for us building that strong foundation so we can live our lives in Jesus. So let's go ahead and make our craft a little bit more of an activity this week. For this activity, you're going to want a box of toothpicks and some Play-Doh. So we're going to build building using these things. So I'm going to grab some toothpicks and I want to get my thing of Play-Doh open and get some of that out. So you're going to use Play-Doh to build your foundation. And we're also going to use it a little bit to attach some of our toothpicks. So do you think my house, if I only built it with toothpicks, do you think it's going to have a very strong foundation? Probably not. So I want to first build a little house with just toothpicks and a little bit of Play-Doh on the ends. So first I'm going to make a little cube like this. You can get really creative with how you build your house. There's a lot of different things you can do here. I'm just going to start with getting four dollops of play-doh and connecting it with my toothpicks and then I can start building up right Play-Doh on all of these ends. How easy do you think this in the house is going to be to knock over? Probably pretty easy, right? It doesn't look very strong, does it? And I'm just going to connect all four corners on the top here. So let's poke out a little bit now that I have my cube. Does this seem very strong? Seems like I can move it around and probably knock it over pretty easily. So this is the house that didn't have a very strong foundation. And now I'm going to make a house with a little bit stronger of a foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Play-Doh, kind of flatten it out and make a base. Now I have something to build on. So I'm going to start by putting my toothpick in the Play-Doh, but then I'm going to 
build this foundation up around it. Do you think this house is going to be a little stronger? Yeah, probably, right? So this is the house that the builder built with a stronger foundation, which is how we build our lives around Jesus. When we have a strong foundation in Jesus, our lives are a little bit easier. God's around to help us. So then I'm going to take this plate. I'm going to use more of it this time because it's just part of that strong foundation. And put it on all my pieces up at the top. You might need to reinforce down here a little bit. Add a little bit more play dough. Make it real strong. Might be a little too heavy. And then we start connecting it. Make sure the bottom's reinforced fairly well or it will fall over on you, unfortunately. And slide these ones through. Then I'm actually also going to add some toothpicks going crisscross. Middle there. So this one, I can't move it, can I? If I poke up here, I can move it. But if I'm poking at the base of it, I can't move it. So this is our house with a strong foundation. So you can try to see how bit big of a tower you can build. There's a lot of things you can do with this activity. But I just wanted to show you those two different houses here. Hope you have a great week, and I'll see you in Sunday school. Bye!